Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Tom's back. Oh, hey. The Grey Knights are on the table. And this game's going to be filthy, isn't it? Uh, a little bit of filth. Um, I'm running Chaos Demon, so there's a lot of preferred enemy. Or, or rather, Demon King. Yeah, now I've got two assassins. <laughs> it's only 1500 points, but there's plenty of filth here. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about this. It's not top notch Wensley deal, but bear in mind the two armies <laughs> that are facing each other. It's going to be a bloodbath. Ooh. It's going to be a bloodbath. And you know what? It's nice to look straight across at someone instead of it's Ali. Yeah. Instead of, instead of boob height. Instead of the boob height. <laughs> an angry Scotsman. <laughs> so right, let's have a quick look at the forces. Right, so here we go guys. 1500 points of Corn Demon Kin plus a Black Legion formation. I'm just running the Combined Arms Detachment. We've got two units of eight blood letters, each with a blood reaver in there. We've got a herald on Juggernaut, and he has the icon that gives him hatred. And that is it for HQ and troops. For fast, we've got a unit of 15 dogs. Yes, 15. We've got a spawn, wherever he's hiding, over there. We've got a Heldrake with, of course, a Bale Flamer. Heavy support, we have a Mauler Fiend with Magma Cutters and a soul grinder with no upgrades at all that is to get across the table or tie things up that doesn't need to be there his warlord trait is to make tom discard one of his cards at the end of my turn meanwhile the black legion formation i've got the cyclopean kapal which is three sorcerers these are all mastery level three they all have a spell familiar and they all have an aura of dark glory which is a folk invun Two of them have axes, which is these two here, and then this guy has a sword. The sword guy has rolled on Biomancy, and he's got Life Leech and Smite, but the most important ones, Endurance, and he's also got Iron Arm as well. The axe has rolled on Telepathy, and he got Invisibility and Terrify, and then I just took Summoning from Malefic. And then the other guy here has Hammerhand, Gate of Infinity, Sanctuary, and of course Banishment isn't going to be of any use because I'm certainly not going to cast that on myself so they'll be joining the Herald and the Herald joining the unit of dogs so hopefully we should find out what invisible eternal warrior for feel no pain dogs are like so my Grey Knight force today is a Nemesis Strike Force consisting of my level 3 Master Librarian and his Terminate squad with his side cannon in. Of course, melt the bomb on the just a car as always. Ten man interceptor squad with everyone with Falchians apart from the two incinerators. Melt the bomb on the just a car. We have two assassins, an Eversaw and a Kalexus, because them are probably some of my favourite two, to be honest with you. Another five man interceptor squad, same loadout but with one incinerator. And of course, tasty Dread Knights at the back. Both exactly the same, with a heavy incinerator, heavy side cannon, personal teleporters, and Nemesis Greatsword. So, let's see what damage this can do today. Right, so here we go after deployment, and things are going to get filthy. I don't know whether I want to go first, or whether I want Tom to go first. I think after that practice game with Phil, I need to get my second powers off first, Tom. So I've got a unit of Bloodletters and the Mauler Fiend here. Single spawn. I've got the massive, massive unit of dogs, the Herald, and the Sorcerers. The Sorcerers obviously getting some nice powers. I've got the Soul Grinder, and of course we've got the other unit of Bloodletters here. Meanwhile, Tom has infiltrated. We've got the Kalexis down there which is a pain because he put them exactly where I can't get to them so that's bad and we've got the Eversaw down here and of course two Dread Knights on the table I've got the Heldrake in reserve and the rest of Tom's forces are in reserve so I need to get some psychic buffs off first move away from the Kalexis and potentially score some points unless Tom seizes the initiative let's go for it Nope, that's a four, so Demonkin, turn one. Alright, so I've drew secure objective six twice and witch hunters will kill any of Tom's units, not the assassins. 
And there's objective six, right between two dreadnoughts. Tom, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeding you any units. Please. No. I've asked nicely. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I can't get any of the assassins. Tom's actually infiltrated them very, very well. So basically, these have moved up to try and speed bump a little bit. I haven't pushed the Molophine that far forward because I don't want the dreadnought charging it. Uh, I've got the spawn moved up and I've pulled these guys sideways and forward a little bit because I want to be out of 18 inch range of that guy because he's going to absorb all my warp charge. So Gwen has pushed forward and I need to move these guys forward as well. But, psychic phase, I have 9 plus 3. Should be able to get some buffs off there. Right, so I've got 12 dice going into psychic phase and first of all, I'm going to cast invisibility on this entire unit. Invisibility is coming from the guy in the middle there with not the sword. He's the biomancy guy. Uh, it's going to be this axe guy here. Uh, oh, I only go it off on two, Tom. And I can't use the spell familiar to reroll. I'm going to hoil five, five dice with that because that spell is um, mm, horrible. Poopy. How are you then? Means it's Come on! Oh, it goes oh, off. Not. Now, because I've got so many psychic powers, I'm actually going to leave my cards with the squad, Tom, uh, because I'm going to forget them. Uh, I've got five more dice, which I was going for endurance on the dogs. <laughs> I believe that's a peril. Sir. That is a peril, my friend. The power goes off, but the peril is a five. We'll check and see what that is. Right, so that's just a leadership test or take a wound leadership uh, 10, I think. That's a pass regardless. So they also have endurance on them. And of course, the last one, I've got two dice left. I'm going for Sanctuary. Yes, it will cause dangerous terrain, but the beasts, so they ignore it. And I get it off on one. So they are a four bin run, Eternal Warrior, four plus feel no pain, invisible dogs. Right, so with that, I'm going to call a turn and I'm going to discard one of the secure objective sixes because which one? I'm going to be killing your units anyway. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm going to discard one, so it's currently nil points. Right, so Grey Knight's turn one. I've got hold the line. Probably not going to get that one. Maybe discard it in the return. Um, no prisoners. Very, very possible. And secure objective one. I think I might be able to get that as well, depending on how I do my deep strikes. Speaking of, reserve rules. So, the Librarian and his unit of Terminators. Three up, are coming in. I then have three Intercept Squads, they're all the same. So I'm going to roll. That is all three coming on. Fantastic. So, off to Deep Strikes. Right, so Tom is Deep Strike <coughs> the Librarian there, and of course he has just rolled a direct hit. One thing to note as well is he's going to try and actually get the Kalexus within range of these guys. I didn't think at all. I measured it in away from the Kalexus, but obviously he would move six. Then he can run up to six and then a 12 inch range. So that's a tw potentially 24 inch threat range. We have measured the dogs are 21 and a half inches away. So Tom needs to get up to 22 inches across the table with that 12 inch aura to stop all them sighted powers. And with them guys there, if he does it, that's not going to be nice at all, Tom. Not nice at all. But hopefully, the fact I've got the soul grinder there might deter him from running them forward. But he's also got the dread knight there to potentially come forward. So, Tom, where's your next deep strider going? Right, so Tom's going to drop a squad of, I want to say, interceptors. Yes, they are. Yes! Right, where they're going. Oh, back six inches, halfway across the pa panel. Lovely. There you go. Next squad of interceptors is going here to potentially try and get Tom objective one. Direct hit. Fantastic. And the final squad going here. Where did the scatter to? Three inches back. Oh, that's like nothing. How very dare you get most than deep strikes on target. Right, so let's move on to movement. Right, so there we go after movement and deep strikes. The Dread Knight is put forward. He's got a long charge to make it into the Mall of Fiend. But if he makes it, that's brutal. Uh, we've got the Librarian here. And Tom rolled a six inch move through cover for the Kalexis, which means he only needs a four inch run in the 
thingy phase, shooting phase, to neg negative all of these powers, which is not what I want. But yeah, we'll have to see. These guys as well, potentially taking out the rear armor of this, plus with banishment. However, this guy is going to be absorbing both of their warp charge. I'm guessing probably shooting the front armor of that. More than likely because of being AP1. Yep. Yep. Going to be horrible. Obviously, the blood letters here. Mm, Tom's taking a risk, I think, but he wants to take this flank for himself. So, how many psychic dice do you get, Tom? Right. <coughs> I have rolled a two. Alright, so Tom's Warlord trait was Demon Slayer, which allows him to cast Banishment on a 2 plus. Banishment has a 24 inch range, going straight against this Soul Grinder. So, Tom, does it go off? Two dice in. Double go off. <sighs> Do I try and stop it? Tom's added three dice from his pool to shooting for these guys, plus he's absorbed them too, which means how, how many more dice have you got left? Uh, for Slater Powers, four. Four. Do I try and stop that? Because I need to try and survive the shooting. Hmm. Have these guys got Cleanse and Flame? Yes, they do. Which ignores invisibility. <coughs> yes, because it automatically hits. But I'm denying on fours with these. I'm going to hope I get lucky. I'm going to chuck six dice into it. Nope. Right, so Tom's going for hammer hand on these, which is plus two strength, is it? Yes, it is, and I'm going to do two dice. Goes off with two. And then your rest of your dice are probably going into that. Two dice left. You've got two more left? Yeah. Uh, hammer hand would make your strength six. Yes. Um, Right, so I'm going to try and stop Hammerhan because if he does go for Cleanse and Flame, which I think he probably will, uh, at least then I've got four, four players. Hammerhan, Librarian's going to be doubling us out as well. Uh, but you've also, you, ah, you might have Force as well, which would stop the Feel No Pain. Ah, oh, let's try and stop it. Did you get off on two? Got off on two. One, six. Right, so Force with two dice. Just oh, off. thank God. Now five shots against the Soul Grinder. Yeah. Um, Ballistic skill is stupid. Ballistic skill eight. So twos, we roll it in the fours. If you miss, which he doesn't, so that's five hits. Yeah, strength eight, needing fives to glance. Fives to glance, six to ten. Two pens and two glances. Oh, crap. Right, which ones do you want first? Uh, you can do the glances first, so six is up. Pass one. So I'm alive as long as you don't blow us up. Two pens. No. So they both go through. Your AP one, so you're adding two. Yep. So we're six is to blow. <sighs> First blood and the soul grinder is gone. How far has he blow up? Six inches. Yeah. Let's see if we hurt him then. So took the strength four, toughness four. Yep. There's a five. So a four in front. Takes a wound. Takes a wound. Nice. Didn't expect that. And the soul grinder is no more. Yep. Right, so shooting phase, this guy's gonna run. Oh, big one this one. Six oh eight. shit! <laughs> oh no! Which means all that sighted goodness that I got off is now gone. That's not good at all. Ooh. And the deterrent at this side is also gone. At least they can charge though, for the minute. For the moment. That's fantastic. No, it's not. Right, what's next for your shooting? <clears throat> so I'm gonna do my runs first and then do my shooting afterwards. So these are gonna run two inches. Yeah. This unit will run two inches. Yeah. Nice and easy to remember so far. This unit will run five inches, and that unit will run six inches. Six, nice. Right, so Dread Knight over here first. Incinerator with Torrent is going to clip three dogs. Wounding on. What's your toughness? Four, so two. Two, lovely. We will the one for enemy. Horrible. Three. Five up. One dog dies. Lovely. And then uh, six shots from the Heavy Saka. Yep. We will the one for preferred enemy. So that's all six hits. Horrible. Two, six is a render, that doesn't make a difference, but that'd be six foot. 
Fucking hell. Wow. Holy shit. They're still gonna die. They're still gonna die. Really? I will give you a little slight round of applause for oh. me to last a little tiny bit longer. Right, what's next? Next. Right, so incinerated down here gets four guys. It's all Tom can get hold of, so. Uh, that was four, four, four. Five ups. Two die. And then storm bolters. Yep, so yeah, storm bolter shots. Yep. Threes, re roll the ones. ones. So re roll the ones. That die over there is cocked as well, so. Yep. We'll... Yep, so one miss. Threes, re roll the ones. Nice. Re roll these ones, get rid of twos. So that's three wounds. Three wounds, five up. Three more die. I can only see two, however. Okay. Oh no, that, that one can see that third one, sir. That one there? Yeah. Look out, sir. Yeah, he kills one of the guys off instead. Not that three blood letters is going to do much to you, like. Down here, incinerator, clipping three dogs. So that's just three wounds. Three, two, three. Takes a wound. And then storm bolters. How many storm bolters have you got? Eight yeah. shots. Eight shots again. Rerolling ones. Ooh, well truly needed the rerolling ones. So that'd be. And then wounded on fours. Oh, yes. So that would be. Two. Two. Kills a dog. One the other. That's not too bad yet. Not the turn yet. Right. Right, so ever saw shooting in at the spawn. How many shots? Four? Four shots, using need four needle pistol shots. So we're hitting on two to be one fours. All hit. All hit, fantastic. And then... Wounding. What's the wound? Two. two wounds, six up cover. Nope, so the spawn is on a single wound. Next. Are you going to sacrifice the Dread Knight? No, I'm going to use the Interceptors at the back to shoot the spawn. Oh crap. A couple of Storm Bolters in range there. I imagine most of them will be. 24 inches, they're all in range. Nice. Right, so three storm bolts, three storm bolts coming from those guys, unfortunately one can't see at the spawn. So he's a hit, we roll ones. Five's to wound. Come on. We roll them ones. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Three wounds. I'm not getting three sixes. Nope, not a single one. So that is the spawn gone as well. Right, so heavy incinerator is going to target the Mauler Fiends, but Tom can torrent it around, we've measured it. It is definitely not doubling back on itself and you can get four blood letters. So do you want to do the four blood letters first? Oh yeah, so twos, three one ones. Five up. Three die. Lovely, and that is uh, Soul Blaze on that unit as well. Uh, and then... I'm going to regret Soul Blaze here, aren't I? Six heavy side cannon shots. Uh, no, you've got one to wound against oh, yes, him. What strength is it? That's six. Six, so you need a six? No. Nope. How many side cannon shots? Six. Three is re roll of ones. Oh, that's well needed. Oh. When's the deal? Come on, more ones. Wow, four sixes. That's what I need for Renz now. Yep. So, for an armor of 12. 12, so sixes will count as a penetrating hit. Yes, and um, five sequences. Why five? So it's seven. seven. Oh, horrible. Five and sixes, come on. One, one glance. Ah. One glance, five up. Nope. So he's down to two whole points. I don't mind that so much. Right, so Tom is going to shoot the side cannon and all the storm bolts from his Warlord's unit in at the dogs. He wants to minimise the attacks coming in. So side cannon first. Yeah, we'll go for the side cannon first. <coughs> Four shots. Threes, three rolling ones. So three hits. That'll be twos. That'll be, be one. That'll be three, <coughs> three wounds. Kills a dog. Eight storm bolt shots. Yes, librarian doesn't have one because it's a cheap skip. Threes, re rolling ones. Ooh. That's all by one hit, so seven hits. Wounding on fours. Three 
be all these nice three ones here. It's a three. So three like, wounds. Three wounds. Three five ops. Uh, so I kill another dog. Fantastical. Nope, not so much. You're chomping through the unit. Imagine if I had a four four after that. But no, somebody had to bring cheese. <laughs> so, says talking. the guy with sorcerers of the yes. court. <laughs> right. Any charges? I am not going to charge. The assassins can't charge you to infiltrate. Most of the army can't. The only thing that can is Dread Knights. No, I'm not that silly because it will be going last. Oh, but I might kill you. Yes, precisely <laughs> my point. Right, is that it then? That shall be it, my good sir. So you scored no prisoners and first blood because you killed two units. I also and you score objective one, yes. so three points. Are you discarding uh, all the line? To definitely, most definitely discard all the line. Right. Right, so I've still got objective six, witch hunter, and behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines, I'm not going to get. Thought long and hard about my movement. Basically, the herald has come backwards to try and slay these guys. I have used my blood tide points to get furious charge and rage on all models. These guys are going to get shot up in the next uh, shooting phase anyway. I did lose a couple of soul blades, so I figured why not chance the charge and at least start and whittle this squad down before Tom does damage. I can't do anything about him at the minute, unfortunately. Over this side, the Mauler Fiend, I want to kind of charge him in there, but Tom's going to get Demon Bane, and he's going to hammer hand off at the minute as well, force. and force, so that's going to be horrible. The Heldrake is on, I am going to activate my Demon Forge on both of these guys, because I might not get to do it again, and then I'm going to charge the remaining three Blood Letters there as well. Again, lost models to them thanks to Soul Blaze and the dogs. I think I lost one at Soul Blaze as well. Hopefully, depending on how the psychic phase goes, I'm hopefully going to try potentially start and whittle this squad down, but it depends on the psychic powers I get off. Right, so psychic phase, how many dice? We get four. Right, so first of all, invisibility on the squad. And I get it off uh, four times, no perils. Do you want to stop it? Four sixes. Yep. How many dice you got left? Uh, lots. <laughs> no, uh, eight. How much? Okay. Uh, I'm now going for. Is it iron arm? No. Hammer hand. Hammer hand. Oh crap! I'll get it off five times in a pearl. <laughs> How many dice you got left? Three. Yes. Are you gonna stop it? I'm gonna try and stop it. How many dice you put in this? Um, four. I'm gonna put nine dice in this. Okay, I'm needing five sixes. Try. Nope. Two. Three. Three. And even if you re-roll the one, you still can't get it. Yeah. Right, but right. peril. Peril number one. Pass the leadership test will be removed, I think. I do believe so. Passed. So good. I think he takes a wound regardless. Um, and which guy has in uh, that was Sanctuary? No, it wasn't. That was Hammerhand, wasn't it? Yes. Which is the guy under there. I've then got three dice left. Hmm. Let's have a think about that. Right, so the guy suffers a wound there, and I'm going to try and get Sanctuary off on the unit with two. I'm going to use a spell from me if I fail, which I don't. I'm going to get off on one. Do you actually go left after that? One. Okay, I'm needing a six. Nope. Nope. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to Psychic Shriek the Dread Knight. Just because. Right. I'll re roll. Three still doesn't go off. Right, shooting face. Demon Forge on the Helldrake. Nope. So I can re roll wounds, and me and Tom's already looked at it. It's four wounds, Tom. Yep. Killing on twos, re rolling ones. That's four dead. Yeah. Oh, look, that's just the, just the car left. It's a long charge, but we might be able to make it. And I believe that is not all me shooting. I have three twinning storm boulders. No, three twinning boulders yeah. within rapid fire range of these guys here from the bikes. So hitting on threes. And then wounding on fours. Might get lucky and kill one, you never know. Uh, that's actually four wounds, Tom. Oh, really? Four, two ups. Oh, there's a one. So then one dies. 
That was worth a I'll shot. I'll look out sir, that, because that is the just a car. Okay. No. No. Nope. Wow. Awesome. That, I feel good about that. You should do. You probably should do. It's one less attack coming in. This guy is here because depend on what psychic powers I got off, depend on whether I charge them in there or charge them at that thing. Uh, I could kill him, but I'm hitting on fives. Uh, I really don't know what to do. This unit can probably absorb a bit of damage from them, but I don't know if they would kill it. Mm. But then if you swing back at them, if you swing back at the Mauler Fiend, then you're not attacking this squad, which I think you would do because these are invisible. So I think he'd be better served charging maybe the Assassin. I know he's going to melt the bomb, but I might get lucky. Mm. I don't know. Let us know what you would do, because I'm really not sure at this stage. Right, so morale check on the just a car. Oh, he's oh he fails? He's 3d6 because fail. he's jumped. Come on, off the board. <gasps> 11, 12, 13. I think he is just on. Oh, and he is just on. Oh, no. Just, and, just a car. And my blood letters can't see their assassin. Such a waste. You can't win them. Ah, oh, mad. <laughs> That's bad. Right, I think I have only got charges. So, Tom, I'm going to charge these blood letters here first. Okie dokie. D3 wall of flame. Oh. Two. two. Wounding on twos, re rolling ones. Two. Wow, they're surviving then. Eight storm bolter shots hitting on sixes. Oh. Re rolling ones. Two hits. Two hits. Threes, leave on ones. Oh, two wounds, five up, come on. Oh, one dies. That's still that's still gonna be a reasonable amount of attacks. I'm gonna thin the unit out with that. So charge distance. There we go, they'll be in. Tom, I issue a challenge. Um, yes, I accept. Good. We'll work that one out in a moment. But other charges down here. D3 wall of flame against the Herald. One. One. Wounding at his toughness five. So the six will be threes. One wound, five up. No, he takes a wound. I think he has four. I'll double check that though. Storm bolters, hit on sixes. We got the one. Two. Uh, fives. One more. Fail that as well. Holy crap. But I need to minimise Tom's psychic dice as much as I can, so that is why that is in place. Meanwhile, these are charging. Right. So, four from the side cannon. Mm hmm. Sixes. Re roll on one, so that's one hit. That's one wound. wound. Four up, four up. There we go, that's a five. And then six storm bolter shots. One hit, one wound, and pass me in one, that's thanks to Sanctuary being off. Dirty man, <laughs> using Santic on demons. Charge, distance, that is a double one, but I will get there, yep. thankfully, and then pilot initial four. Not what I wanted, I would have liked to get people further in, but yeah. Uh, charge additions for the Mauler Field at the Assassin. Four inches, but he's going to go straight through the cover. He is going to swing at initiative one, as is the Assassin. But never mind. And these guys can't charge. So never mind about that. Let's do this one first. In fact, no, I'm not going to do that one first, because if I explode, I'm going to kill my own unit. Let's go over here first. So I issue a challenge. My character has two attacks plus two for charging. This is against the Justicar, Tom. I'm hitting you on, I think the weapon's got five. So that's three hits, and I'm strength four. Yep. So two, which it's AP three, so it kills your Justicar and one, but they still both get to attack back. I then have three attacks from the other guy, thanks to Rage. I hit you once, and I don't kill. So I've killed two. So I'll do the Justicar first. So three attacks, because two base plus falchions. Mm -hmm. So that would be two hits because yep. I have to go five. And they are toughness three, so three is three rolling ones. So that's two. Two wounds. Fill me in run, kills the squad. I kill you in a challenge. Yep. I die in a challenge. 
and I lose the units. So I think that gets me three blood type ones, but I'll double check. Right, so down here, this guy, Hammer of Wrath. Uh, wounds. Three up. So, right, and then I've got three attacks base, plus two for charging, plus one for being on a juggernaut. Uh, I'm weapon skill better than you, so I hit you on threes, re rolling. Re rolling them. All hit. And I am strength six thanks to Furious Charge for my blood tide points. Oh no! Oh! Which means I don't kill the squad and there's no character in there to challenge, so I could have potentially had more blood tide points there. But no, which you means. Might get one if the other guy kills him. Yeah, but how we then swing back with your uh, one guy? I can't believe it. Really? Two attacks. Yeah. What skill? Six. So I will be hitting you on uh, fours. Four, sorry. Yep. Two hits. Oh no. Toughness. Strength four. I'm toughness five. So fives. Cocked. Two wounds. Not gonna survive this. There we go, I'm dead. <coughs> and Tom gets to lay the warlord, but I get another victory point, a uh, blood tie point for that. Right, so in this combat, Tom has issued a challenge with the librarian. Yes, I have. Uh, but my sword, sorcerer, is not going to accept Tom. That's fine. Because he's AP3 and I feel like I need the biomancy powers more. So he's going to try and survive. Right, so, librarian first. How many attacks? Two attacks. Hitting me on fours. No, you invisible. Sixes, of course. Sixes. However, hatred. And don't forget, I have four stuff as well, so I will also be rerolling to wound. You will. But however, everything is strength six, or in the librarian's case, strength eight. So it's going to be we won ones essentially. So anyway, let's see fours, four, sixes, invisibility. Yeah, I'll get it. Rerolling. We roll both of them. One, one hit. hit. One wound. Yep. Four. Make it. Yeah. So then I have got how many terminators? Four terminators. So eight attacks. Six is re-rolling. One. I'm going to regret this, I think, because I took the Herald out and I've lost Hatred now. There's another six. So, the same crack again. Twos. Yep. The hammer hand. Yep, two more. Two sixes, mate. I hate you so much. Sorry. Right, so I've got 10 dogs alive each. That's four attacks each on the charge, thanks to Rage. So here's 20 dice, which I'll roll twice. I'm hitting on fours re rolling because the sorcerers have hatred space marines. And you said the assassin was cheese. He is. So that was the first roll that hit. Here is the re roll thanks to hatred for an extra three. That's not bad. Wounding on threes, no re rolls. That's poor. So our first volley was nine wounds, and then here is the second volley just from the dogs. Hitting on fours, re rolling. Re rolling thanks to Hatred. And I'm actually wounding on twos. I've got Hammer Hand off. I can't remember how many extra twos I rolled in the last volley, but we're just going to count these ones as twos. So. Five ones there. This might have made a difference, but don't mind. Four, eight, that's ten more. So that's 19 wounds just from the dogs. It probably might have been about, what, 21, 22 maybe? Um, if I'd remembered that, but never mind. I'm just going to roll these all at once and take the Terminators as they go. Pretty much, yeah. How are we then? So what was it, 19? 19 dice. Ah. Come on, how, how many wounds does he have? Two. I'm looking for five ones, mate. No, I'm not looking for six ones. I wish we could re roll ones for this as well. That would be awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, yep. four, five, six. Boom! Ooh. Consolidate. No! No! <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, crap. That's wallowed for you. Right, so Hammer of Wrath in on the uh, Assassin. What's that? That would be a one, my good sir. Ah, oh, crap. 
Right, I'll get five attacks on the charge now, because I've got rage. Two attacks, plus one for two weapons, plus two for charge, and I hit you on fives. Yes, because I'm about to hit. Not what I wanted. Right, single melter bomb. Hit me on threes. Yes! You don't get preferred enemy. No. Oh! And I believe that is turn. How many units did I kill there? Two? Uh, one. Librarian. But he's two separate oh, units, yeah. so I get two more blood type points. And thankfully, I didn't have to accept the challenges because those guys do not have blood for the blood god. Otherwise, me herald would have had to accept top. So that's not bad. Witch hunter, uh, score one victory point at the end of your turn for at least one enemy unit with the psychic special rule was killed. And look at this one interceptor. One interceptor. Bullshit. <laughs> but this guy here is going to move. I needed that big consolidation move. I needed it, and it's now going to cost us dearly because two Dread Knights coming in. Uh, I think that puts me at, at one, two victory points for Slay the Warlord and Witch Hunter. Yep. I'm going to discard behind enemy lines because there's no way I'm going to get there. But I do have quite a few victory po uh, blood type points now as well. Green Knights turn two. I have obscure, obscure, secure objective six, supremacy. And objective two, I definitely think I'm gonna have these two. The unit interceptors that was here have shunted all the way over here to get some more shots on the dogs because they were doing nothing sat over their back there for me. The lone interceptor that was over here has jumped onto objective six using shunt. So he's also given, obviously, them two squads and the Dread Knight here, who's moved from there to there, they're given him extra shots. Plus, he's holding objective six for us. <coughs> the lone interceptor that was over here has done a standard jump over to secure this objective, which is going to get me supremacy. The Dread Knight that was here, because there's a barricade there, I decided to jump him over to the back, simply because then he's not charging through cover. So a little bit of a smart play for me. And luckily over here, the assassin managed to get through with a roll of five. So in the shooting phase, I'm going to run him, cancel all of them nice abilities he's got, and bring a world of pain upon the dogs, the dirty demons. Ugh. Right, so, psychic phase. Right, so psychic phase, these three units are absorbed up by the Calexis, which grants Tom three there, and he's got two more over this side, so that's five dice, plus how many? On the table would be nice, four. Four. I've got nine plus four. I'm going to absorb three shots more into. Of course you are. So six shots. Of course you are. <laughs> right. <coughs> first things first. I am going to watch the invulsive. On these at the moment, four. Lovely. Because he's going to banish them. Ugh. <coughs> By the four. Because you're not within 12 yet. Oh, yes. Yes. Punishment? Yep. Um, Warp charge one? Yes. Goes off. I'll chuck three dice into it. And I'll stop it on a four because I have colours of corn. Lovely. And the Dread Knight at the back is going to do the same thing, two dice. One. one. I'll put three into it. Stopped again. Lovely. Right. I have no more side dice. The rest is going to be six shots. From the Animus Spectrum into the Desmonds. Okay. He also has uh, preferred enemy <coughs> Psychers, with the Midnight Psychic Assassin, so he gets to reroll one for these. So six and a half. Right, so interesting rules question here. This guy has preferred enemy Psychers and he's targeting this unit, but he doesn't get to the Psyker until he's killed three of the dogs. So me and Tom don't quite know how to work this out. What we're going to do is we're still going to roll it hit because the ones won't make a difference because you're rerolling the force. And you can't re-roll a re-roll, but the wounds we're going to do one at a time until he kills the three dogs, unless he gets precision shots. So, how, how many dice? So I won't get a re-roll, because I'm blissed, skill one, one. You will. But sixes are precision shots anyway. Yes, six is always a precision shot. Right. No hits. Nothing. But, mm, I see, he's rolled two ones there, so we don't know whether or not it would count, because technically he's hitting the dogs first. Let us know what you thought, Tacos. This is an interesting question. Um, but yeah, that's no hits from Tom, unfortunately. Oh well. 
Right, so shooting down here, incinerator from the... Yeah, seven. Yeah. Uh, four dogs, wounding on two, three, rolling ones. Might actually get the saucer first, turn that. So that'd be four wounds. And it is actually the saucer first, he is the closest. Um, That's his armor. Three up. So just get them one at a time, he's got one wound. I can look outside. Look okay. outside, yeah. One on him, three up. He dies. Yes. Uh, and then I've got three on the dogs for five up. Lovely. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Uh-huh. Two star walkers. Yep. Preferred enemy. All hits. Yep. All the hits. Fours. Preferred enemy. Three. Yeah, you've just like now tore this apart with that guy. He's horrible. It's gonna get a lot worse. Stormbolt from that guy. Which guy? Oh, that's the one at the back thing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Two hits. Two wounds. <laughs> one save. But it depends. Would you count that as a five? I don't think you can see from there. Um, I can't see. Maybe your call. I'm gonna say no because it was right on the corner. There's a one. There's another one dead. Come on, the mid. Do your worst. Right, um, I believe <laughs> this Dread Knight's gonna uh, temple it over here. Torrent? Oh, yes. It's within 12, though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so Watch out. And get four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, I think. No, you, you don't hit this one here. No, no, no. Five, five, five yep. Reroll ones. Five wounds, mate. Five ups. Uh, so that's three wounds all together. Kills another dog and drops one to one. Are you using the large blast version? I am, because I might be able to hit the Mauler Fiend. Right, are you targeting him? Targeting him. So that will get you five plus the Mauler Fiend. Yep. So it's on the front of his tyre, should we yep. say? Just a minute, I you. Direct hit. hit. Oh crap. Mauler Fiend. Is this strength 6 this one or is it 7? seven? So That's side armor 12. Side 12. So 5s. That's a glance. 5 up. Fail it. So he's on 1. And then you had 5 on the unit. 5. So, yeah. Same crack. 2 to kill. 2 to kill. 5 more. Uh, yeah, that kills them. Is he getting cover from this though? Um, they will get cover from that, so the first one drops it like a fly. So that'll kill one, and then that'll drop a wound, and then four cover. Yeah. Saves them, so that'll save them a little bit, I suppose. Right, next up, this Dread Knight, I'm guessing? Um, no, I'm gonna do the Storm Bolt off him, one and them two. <laughs> Left it's worth there. noting we did lose another one, uh, thanks to Soul Blaze. Oh, yes. Two hits, hits. Freeze. freeze, two wounds, oh, dead, gets me another blood tie point. Fantastic. Uh, I think that puts me at like seven, but I can't summon a blood thirster. Woohoo! Right, Dread Knight. Last one, just gonna do an incineration that way. That is four plus the Mauler Fiend. Lovely. So Mauler Fiend's rear armor is? Ten. Oh, four at glance. Nothing. We were one steel. Oh my. Yep, and then morphine goes down like a No, it doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Right, so Tom wants to do the torrent this way, but the rules for templates state that you have to cover most of the majority unit that you're targeting. And if he goes here, you can actually get five of them. So. Five, so twos. Yeah. We all the ones, because it's quite a demons. Yep. So, five ones. Don't forget to look out to first because your saucer is the closest. All looked out onto the dogs for a five up. <laughs> Kills two dogs. Uh, that's on one wound, so that'll drop that one to one wound. Right, I'm going to be cheeky again. And Now that you can do. Yep, yeah, yes I can do. Where is my scatter dice, my good sir? So on the front of his tyre again. Same mm -hmm. 
direct hit. Direct hit. So that will get is it three? three from the squad and then the Mall of Fiend. Well, we'll do the Mall of Fiend first because that's what I want to get rid of, really. So, rear armor of 10. Mm -hmm. Seven, so I need a three plus. It's a demon. Ah, uh, but you rolled a two. What was a two, wasn't it? It was a one. Oh. Pen. And it goes down. So uh, that's a wreck. It is. Lovely. Two for the squad. Yeah. Oh, three for the squad, sorry. Yep. Three wounds. <coughs> three up armor on the uh, <coughs> sorcerers. One takes a wound. The sword guy. Yep. Yep. And that, I believe, my good sir, is shooting. So we can go straight into charges. Charges. Um, he charging? Will be. He can't reach. He can't reach, unfortunately. I um, want him to stay there. So yeah, just the single drone out of the back is going to charge. I'm going to overwatch. Yay. We will. Two hits. Six is the wound. Wound. One wound. And it's fine. Yep. Like a boss. Charge in. He's going to make it. So, Hammer of Wrath. Bam. Uh, strength six. So. Wound. Mm. That's a one. Lovely. Um, the Dread Knight uh. shall issue a challenge. <sighs> I'll accept because I need the extra two wounds to keep me dogs alive. Right. It's going to be in some death because strength 10. I need the extra wound. Right, okay. Um, so, five. And you have a button skill? Sorcerer, I believe, a four. Let's go five, so three. Nope, because the dogs to. might be four. Let's all check that. Right, so the sorcerer's weapon skill five, so Tom's hit me on fours. Mastercrafted because of the sword. Five attacks. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Prefer mm. enemy the ones. Yes, and the two I will. Mastercraft. Mastercraft. So that three's a miss. One hit. Ooh. It's cocked. It's a wound. Now he's only got four in run instead of three because you cancel all my powers. And I fail it. Lovely. So then the dogs will attack back with four attacks. Two hits, needing sixes. That's one wound. And a three up, he's fine. Cool. You just kill the sorcerer. You did, didn't you? Yes, I did. And then they pile in. Um, does he get consulted? Question? Uh, I would say so, yes. Five. Five inches. So, looking at that though, Tom does score objective marker six. Um, you want to go that way for objective two? Yeah. Just put him there and we'll see he's underneath. Thank you. So that scores Tom objective two plus supremacy, gives, gives him at least three points, but that's a D3 for supremacy. Plus six. What? Six well. Yeah, yeah. I've already said that. Oh, sorry. So, D3. Oh, D3. D -d 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 -d. Oh, of course. Oh, so, he scores five points. How many is that you're on now? Well, um. Three there, two previously, plus Slay the Warlord and First Blood. So, that's seven. To my three, two, one. Two. I don't know. You got Slay the Warlord. I got Slay the Warlord and Witch Hunter. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right, so Drew secure objective three, big game hunter, no prisoners. I'm just gonna try and kill stuff now. Um, so this guy is pulled forward this way. I am gonna deep strike a skull cannon because these guys are still alive. Direct hit, thank God. Right, uh, large blast straight at them, at him. Uh, it scatters uh, three inches. So it should still hit because of the base size. It's a two and a half inch blast. I think just was directing me. So yeah, that misses by a gnat bollock. Lovely. Down here, I'm going to use the bill flamer. It is going to hit the three of these guys plus the assassins. <coughs> the three guys, come on, don't roll a one. Roll a one. Called it. And then the assassin. That's cocked. That's a one. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and on the way past, uh, he would have vector struck the assassin. That's a wound. Strength seven. Strength seven, so it's okay, it doesn't double out. No. Four. That's a one. Keep so a wound. Both assassins on one wound. No. 
He lost a wound. He lost a wound, so yeah. he's two wounds each. Yeah. So they've both lost a wound. I thought you said I thought you said they were both. What well, what is with you today? I don't know, mate. I've been working long hours. Right. Uh combat. Yes, combat, so Four attacks! Oh. Uh, two hits. I need that the wound though. One wound. One wound. Uh, oh, takes one. Ooh. 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 He's gonna really get big dice because he's a big guy. Right. Oh, I'll just use that one. I don't think he does. Four attacks back. Four attacks back. Hitting on fours. Mastercraft and preferred enemy. Will Mastercraft one of them? Mastercraft did it. Nope. Nope. Two hits. So two twos, three rolling ones. Twos. Two um, five up. Kills one dog. Oh, right, uh, I, I don't score anything because I didn't even kill a squad. Which is annoying because look, you've got three interceptors left. One, two, three. Generating your three warp charge. This genuinely might be the first game I've had at least one man from each interceptor squad survive. <laughs> right, um, I, the objective three is there. I don't control it. I don't get big game hunter. I don't get no prisoners. I'm going to destroy, uh, discard Big Game Hunter because I'm probably not going to kill a Dread Knight, mate. Green Knights, turn three. Lovely. Okay, it's Grey Knights, turn three. I'm going to fill them all in one go because we're in a law. So, secure objective six. That's definitely going to happen. Secure objective one. Probably isn't going to happen. And destroy the demon. Ah. Oh. You have to kill a demon. Oh. Uh, if I kill two, I get D3 for it though as well. You have, you have to kill two? Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna happen as well. Look at that face. Yeah. Oh. If you hadn't brought the Kalexis, I think I'd have done alright. But you see, the slight problem is the fact that I did bring the Kalexis. It is. Oh. Right. Destroy me. Let's crack on. Movement already done. This intercept with the dodgy backpack is just jump over the other side to feed him psychic energy. Same crap with the Dread Knight because he's gonna fight the Hell Turkey. The Assassin's jumping out over here. The insect from over there is jumping out. Unfortunately, you can't feed him. This one can because he's going to shoot it in the poop shoot along with. <laughs> he's going to stab him to death. And that should hopefully. So you've him. got one dice for Psychic. I've got one note with, with him. Oh, one plus D6. Yeah, so my D6 is. Off the table! Woohoo! My D6 is four. Right, so in the psychic phase, Tom rolled a four, which means he's going to pull three of them into this guy. Plus one, two, three, four, all pulled in there. That's seven shots. Seven shots. And then that guy has that one left over, plus the one for himself. So what's he going to do? He is going to hammer hand. Oh, no. So then he's going to have three attacks and plenty of glance here. So, do you not want to melt the bomb this lot? Um, yeah, but he's got the melt the bomb and... It's worth it because I see when it comes good. Yeah. Was that for one? Oh, uh, might as well because you've got no other powers. And I'll stop it. Oh, well, two metal bots coming over then. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so, that would be, <coughs> excuse me, seven shots, sky firing, no, not sky firing, firing up at the, the hill turkey. Not ignoring cover. Uh, not jinking, sorry. <clears throat> not jinking. Okay, not jinking. Sixes. Oh crap. Three sixes. Strength eight. Strength eight. It'd be one. <clears throat> so, twelve. Twelve. So, fours. Two. Uh, one glance, and, glance pen. and a pen. Glance first. Goes through. Pen. I save. Oh. But even if it went through, I ignore stun and shaking on a two plus. It's if they won those, it could have blew them up. Could have. But right. Now what? Shooting? Yes, shooting. This interceptor is going to fire a storm bottle at the hell turkey. Can't hurt. No, he's not, sorry. He's going to fire it at the skull cannon. Yes, because that's rear armor 12. At 10. So, two shots. Two hits. Is the other guy not doing the same? Is it with what's for an arm? No, oh, yes, him. Yeah, but I'll do this after. Two, two different squads, Harry. Calm down. So, no, nothing. Same guy. Okay. Yeah. Two hits. And nothing. Nothing. Ooh. You've then got the Dread, Dread Knight is it. going to fire. They can probably tear down combat. Bearing in mind I've got two attacks at AP3. He shot at them as well, so he'll be a bit of a chump over. But well. he can't do anything. 
That's true, it's not just a car. Um, oh well. Um, he can target that. Then that's going to target that. So, yeah. six shots. Do you wish to jink? Nope. Are you rolling the ones? Yep. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Come back then. Um, yes, the these two will charge. They're going to make it because they're an inch away. Yeah. So, two attacks from your dog on your Dread Knight. One hit. Doesn't work. Four attacks back. Reroll the one. And, and then master crafted. Two three rolling ones. That's four. I can do this. Told ya. Easy. Yeah. That's another blood. If a dying was your aim. <laughs> that's another blood tide point, but uh Yeah, don't no. He's gonna just uh consult in six inches. Right, and then down there we've got two attacks. I'm gonna swing at the just a car because I've got AP3. Yeah, we've got two attacks. Kills the just a car because it's AP3. Nothing. Think. I'll have to double check the strength of my hungry strength 3. So Bloodlet is a strength 4, which means that, that does kill the Justed Car, which means the Assassin might not kill that. But it's not really going to make much difference, because you're going to end up annihilating this anyway. Hitting on 3s. That will be a 3. 2 dice. Strength 8, and even 12. There we go. AP1, I think it's open topped. Boom. Boom. It's boom anyway. Uh, how far? Three inches, that's probably sure. clip One Dread Knight and the Assassin. So the Assassin is wounded, the Dread Knight is not wounded. Assassin, four in one, so he's got one wound left because he only took one previously. He did. And do you know what, mate? I've got the Hell Turkey left. I've got the Hell Turkey left. I think we should call it. Well, that'll be an epic handshake, my friend. Right, so there we go, folks. Tom absolutely destroying that Death Star thanks to the Kalexis. What were your thoughts on the actual Death Star? Though? The Death Star itself, um, because of the fact you've got nine different psychic powers from three different things, you've got such a variety of different abilities you can use with them, plus you've got your hatred, and they're like four attacks on the charge. The dogs, yeah. You can move three through. Three or four, depending on what blood type points I use. Had I not took the Kalexis Assassin, that would have been a completely different game. If yeah. I didn't get me lucky rolls through the moving through the cover, yeah. and you were your unlucky roll at the end there, it could have been a very, very different game. Agreed. Um, I don't know whether going after the interceptors down here with the Herald was the right thing to do. Um, I feel I if I it was kill an unlucky roll on your half. Really. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think he could have made mincemeat of that squad. He probably would have died after, but I was hoping to minimise your warp charge. I think the Hell Turkey, um, when he killed four of the squad and the other guy ran, I was yeah. hoping them three blood letters would take him out. Uh, that was unlucky, unfortunately, yeah, as well. Um, which meant that you had three warp charge across three guys just running around. Plus, also, they captured me the uh, most victory points through. They did. Time I've seen whatnot. They did. Who was your man of the match then? Collectors, Lex. It's got to be the Collectors because the shots, it's death and dogs. Okay, yeah, you got your second powers off in your turn, but as soon as it came my turn, bam, gone again, yeah. and then Dread Knights could get in. How do you feel it would have gone though if the Kalexus wasn't there? If the Kalexus wasn't there, I'd have probably been jumping further away from them and probably putting more shots into them first. I think the weight of dice in combat would have probably taken the Dread Knights down as well. Yeah. Especially if I got a uh, hammer hand off and yeah. on fours. Yes, there was no AP2 there, but I think cutting into the armor doing a four yeah. wound instead, I think potentially could have done a lot of damage. There's something, there's something not right about we were on with demons. I, I don't know what you're talking that's, about. That's just... Corn loves Psychos, Tom. Does he? Does yes. He, he also loves the Emperor as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this, and she's told me personally. He's just enough drinks in the bar with Drago in the warp. A cup of tea. Cup, yeah, a cup of tea. A cup more tea with Drago. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it, folks. It, it was a quick game, but I hope you've enjoyed the cheesiness of it, and who doesn't love Grey Knights versus Demon King? Yeah, and to be honest, I, it's... It's something nice to see where you haven't got all the silly formations that are out there for the cheesiness level. We've kept it within the codexes. Uh, apart from the... Apart the from the... Yeah, apart psychos. from the psychos. <laughs> but again... That's not that bad compared to some of the stuff I'm No, it's not. It's not. But these two lists were quite bad towards each other. And bear in mind, we didn't design them for each other's lists. We just designed them. No. Okay, tournament list. 1500 point tournament list. What would you take with each army? And... Bear in mind, Tom actually helped me build the list. Yes. So, <laughs> so of course he was going to put the collectors in. 
Um, but that's it folks, I hope you really enjoyed the game and uh, stay tuned and we'll hopefully have Tom back for more. Yes. He's got an army that is nearly done. Yes, in production. Which should hopefully be done by the time this video goes up, so hopefully in a couple of weeks you'll see it. Hopefully. 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 So that's exciting stuff. Stay tuned folks and uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. See you next time.